Hello, good afternoon everyone. Thank you for coming to join me today. Um, in between projects, I'm just busy printing um, papers that I want to start my next project. And I just thought I, I've been going through a box of stuff that I had trying to sort my room out. And I found um, some cutouts that I'd got and I don't know what I was going to do with them. So I've had a think, <clears throat> excuse me, what I want to do. And I'm going to make some little booklets. So I've covered these two. And that's the first one. And I thought you might be interested in just seeing what how I make these. Um, just getting a piece of card. I'm trying to think where my inspiration from this came. And I want to say it's going to be Wendy from Wendy's Journal Adventures. Because I'm sure these are what she made. So I've got some book. Should I do a green one? I've got some book pages that I've cut out. And one's going to be the front of the booklet and one's going to be the back. So these are probably slightly bigger than um, I want them to be. Sorry, I've got a new camera set up today. Um, so if I go out of screen, just give me a shout. OK, so these measure at the minute about six and a half by four and a quarter. But they're likely to end up that little bit smaller after I've cut them out. I've got such a mess here on my desk <laughs> again, as usual. Um, so I'm just going to glue these onto the card. I don't know what card stock it is. Um, it doesn't actually say how thick it is, but it's not. It's thicker than paper, so I'm guessing it's going to be about 160 maybe. I'm going to stick these on here. Get them glued on. Got a bit of um, sticky glue on there, look. But I'm going to put a pocket, I think, on the front, so that'll get covered up. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. There we go. I think I need to change my, my paper. OK, and I'll just put some glue on the other one as well. So these are just images that are cut from a book. So it's using those book pages in a different way. And I'm sure it was Wendy that did this. Wendy, give me a shout if it wasn't you, my darling. Um, I always like to try and give credit where it's due to, you know, the person that's inspired me. I think we all like to do that. So I'm going to cut these out. I am going to cut them out, honest. I've only recently put a new blade in my, in my cutter as well. So, as I say, I'm in between projects. Um, I've just finished the collaboration that I was doing with um, Amy. That's Crafty Cat USA. And that was the Sherlock Holmes. And I've actually made two other Sherlock Holmes journals. Not the same as Amy's, but similar. Um, so I'll, I'll do a video. I am behind with my completed videos or my flip throughs. Um, I've been sorting out my um, people that wanted to go on a waiting list for a journal from me. Um, and I think I've probably got about 13 people on it. So goodness only knows when I'm going to get 13 journals made. So folks, bear with me. Um, but I've got the two um, Italian lady journals that I've finished. I think they're behind me. They are. So I don't know if you remember, it was such a long time ago. I've got two Italian lady journals. That one's reserved and that one will go to the next person on my list. Or at least they'll be offered it. And then I've got two Sherlock Holmes journals as well. That I'll, um, once I've sorted the Italian ladies out, I'll go to them. So I'm getting there slowly, folks. So all I've done is covered cardstock and covered the fronts of those. Um... And then I think I just want something plain on the back of those because that's going to be the inside. Does it matter if the writing goes the wrong way? Because that would save a book page, wouldn't it? I don't think it does because the chances are I'll put a pocket or something on. So I think I am. I'm going to use the book sideways. I don't think there's any rules that say I have to... Put the book page the right way up maybe there is if there is nobody's nobody's copied me into that memo i'm just putting some glue on the other side of this whoops daisy oh gosh 
card and I'm nearly out of my glue sticks so I need to go and get them sorted out. I do struggle sometimes folks, the struggle is real. So I'm going to put that on there and then this one on the other side. And then I think that the other two will be dry enough for me to um, do the next stage. So I might actually have a bit of a production line going here, eh? I'm going to stick those on there. And these, these can be used for all sorts of things. I mean, you can put them in a... They are quite large, I know, but you can... Um, give them away or add them into a journal that you're making. Um, you could use them as happy mail and send them out to somebody as happy mail. I think that's a good idea. Um, you give them away to your friends. So all sorts of uses for them. And of course, although the covers are decorated, uh, you know, patterned is what I mean, um, you can decorate them further if you want to. This blade does not want to cut, does it? Don't you just hate it when that happens? So I'm going to take that one down a little bit. So I, you know, you can make these whatever, whatever, whatever size you want to. Um, and hopefully what you're looking, what you're aiming for is to have two that are the same size with a pattern on the or papers on the front and on the back. So that's your aim. So as I say, you can make them any size, a bit bigger, a bit smaller, but it's just a quick, simple project just to use up those book pages because we've always got the ones that we don't want to put into an actual journal as a page or, you know, like the, the written pages, you perhaps don't want to use them. So I think I think that I want that to be my front and that to be my back and that could have a pocket there to cover that bit up. So I think that's absolutely fine. They're not the same size. So I'll just measure those and get them roughly the same size. So that one's six and a half and that one's an eighth less. So I want to take just an eighth off of this one and then they should be the right size and if you you know if I don't like this on the inside I can always put something else on it when I've done I haven't done a very good job there of getting them the same size have I at all am I wonky I'm going to take them down to six and a quarter just because that's a bit of an easier measurement for me. Six and a quarter. And then they should at least be the same height, shouldn't they? And then I'm just going to measure this one. I am faffing. I'm going to take that down to four and one eighth. And that's just literally so that I've got them four and one eighth. The same. And as I say, I can cover the insides if I don't like I don't like the look of that. I don't know how I'd want them. That might be nice on the front and that on the back. Anyway, I'm going to put those to dry. Okay. And we'll go back to the ones that I had covered. Here we go. So I think I want this one to be the front. And I've used other book pages on the inside of that. I think I was thinking spring. I've um, downloaded... Um, Andrea Allen, that's Artie Mays, her, I think it's called Spring Blossom Kit. Um, I'm just bringing over, you probably can't see it, 
this is my rags and tags of fabrics that I use and I always save them. I'm just looking to see what I've got that might go with this. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? That's nice and bright and breezy, isn't it? So I think I might use that to join them together. See, I'm thinking spring. Spring is in the air, folks. And it is a little bit wider, wider than I would like it to be, I think. I was thinking of putting a pocket on there. There's no reason why I still can't. I think I do want it to be a little bit thinner, though. And then this I will save to put on as it uses a on top of a, a tag, probably. I think I might take a little bit more off the other side. You watch, I won't be able to tear this now. Now I have. Okay. That's made that very messy. So I'm just going to snip these edges off one moment. Okay, so I've just cut the um, the little straggly bits off from where I'd torn it. And I'm just kind of finger pressing the middle. I'm not really worried if I don't get it in the middle, but sometimes it's just that little bit easier. Um, I think I want that to be the back one. So all I'm going to do is put some glue on the edge. And then, I don't know if you can see the crease, but that just gives me like a rough indication. I mean, fortunately, this has got spots on it, so I can kind of gauge it from that. So I'm just sticking that down on there. And then I've done it the wrong way around, haven't I? Nobody shouted at me. You didn't shout me, folks. This is the front, isn't it? I'm not having a lot of luck, folks. If that's the front, that's the bit I want to stick. Right, shall we do it again? This is the front, and so this is the edge that I want to glue. I will get it right eventually, honest. And I'm going to put that on there. And glue it down. There we go. And then I can always come in and add that little bit extra glue. I hope I'm on screen. I don't know if it helps. I've got my stand, my phone stand over there. So my phone's in front of me rather than at the side of me, if you see what I mean. So that's glued on there. And then if I flip it over, I want that to be the edge. Yep, that's going to be the edge that goes to the spine. Okay. And I'm leaving, I don't know if you can see, but I'm just leaving maybe an eighth of an inch just there. I'm going to glue this top bit over. Yep, you can see that. So I'm just going to glue that top bit over. And then I am just going to glue the fabric back up again. So I've then got fabric on the inside and the outside. Okay. And this is, it's not... Um, Gosh, it's not the art glitter glue I use. Some people do ask me what I use. And I don't know if you can get it um, abroad, but I use high, oh, I've got it on my finger, look. I use high tack, all purpose, very sticky glue. And this to me works just as well as the art glitter glue. But it isn't as expensive. I think that bottle that you saw, and that has four fluid ounces in it, that I think it's either three or four pounds and it's it just it 
I haven't found anything it doesn't glue yet. It glues everything. It really does. So that's those joined together. And then that will be my little booklet. And I've got, I'll put some pages in there. So I want the glue on that to just dry a little bit. Just run my nail where that little bit, the little groove is. So I just want that to dry. So we'll come back to these two. And I might have that one as the front. So what have we got to have in here? I do love this, but I've not got enough. Not enough. But I could use something else on the inside, couldn't I? It doesn't have to be the same. Um, I've got some plain that I could put on the inside. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to use this. I love this colour. It's called grunge fabric, this. And I, I save every little piece of it. So now that is going to be my front cover. So I'm going to glue on here. So you can see that keeping my scraps of fabric, they do come in useful. And I'm going to put that on there like that. And again, you know, I can add some more glue just to make sure that it's down good and proper. You can stitch around these and I probably will. You don't have to if you're not gluing. You just need to make sure that um, you've stuck them down really well. That's going there. So I perhaps should have used that one on the front. I'm going to lose those white flowers, but never mind. That's OK. So that's going on there like that. Got that slightly wonky, haven't I? Cut that off the edge. And just check that it's glued down. Okay. And then I'm just going to glue that as well. So again that bit's glued on and then on the inside I've just got this plain, this is just a white sheet that I've coffee dyed and so that can go on there. It's took to my finger look. Just call me sticky. Sticky fingers everywhere. So slightly different in that I'm just not folding the same piece of fabric over, but it's the same principle. I'm just going to put this fabric on here. It's going to be glued down good and proper. That's got nice marking on it. And again, just run my nail down there. There we go. And then that just needs to dry as well. But it's not too bad. Isn't it pretty? Don't you think? I hope you do. Again, you can put a pocket on there. Um, I think I think I think I want to cut the corners. Just take the edges off them. And then I'm going to leave that one open to dry. And then this one that we did. I'm just going to snip those corners I'm happy how that stuck down but I do want to just stitch all the way around it so I'll go and stitch around this one bear with me okay so hopefully you can see um, I've just stitched around the edge and then I've stitched down here as well and then on the other side you can see that's the inside of it I think that's just really pretty so I'm happy with that um, this one it's probably dry enough for me to stitch round. I'll stitch round that as well. One moment. 
okay so I've stitched around that one as well exactly the same I've gone all the way around and then I've gone up and down the spine but you know you don't you don't need to do that if you don't want to um, but as I say that's just something that I like to do um, you can also go around the edges and if I could see my sponge I would but it's avoiding me it's hiding it's probably bounced off on the floor somewhere so no matter no matter it'll turn up when it wants to okay so this one I thought I would put a pocket on that's just um some paper that I've got from Rachel Rox's creations so I think I'm going to use that as a pocket oh here we are look I found it you move one thing and it appears I don't think the edges are that white actually and the card in the middle that I've used is black isn't it so I really like those both. I don't think I've got a preference. Yeah, so that's the front. I thought I'd done it back to front then. That's the front. Oh dear. That was... <laughs> the amount of mistakes I've been making just lately, honestly, folks, you wouldn't believe it. Okay, so I'm just going to fold the flap down. I've put some card... Um, well card thicker paper in there just to kind of add some support to that because that's only I've only used copy paper this is only copy paper is what I'm trying to say I might want a little divot where's my punch I'm saving up to buy myself a bigger circle punch folks out there that's not bad that's not bad so you'll have to let me know if this angle looks better than the other one I don't know that it'll make much difference to you um, but I think it might to me so I'm going to put that on there like that with a little pocket so let's put some glue on Gone quiet while I'm sticky gluing. Just turn it around so I can see what I'm doing a bit easier. I'm just going to put that on there. Like that. Might want something on there just to decorate it a little bit. Might indeed. Got some labels. If I can find. <laughs> How'd you get in the labels, folks? Um, vegetation. I don't think I want vegetation. I quite like that green label. I do quite like that. I do like that. Yeah, I'm going to put that on. Just a bit of br green breaks up all the yellow so that can go on there just wondering if I want another one on there I think I do you know I think that I do so I'm thinking that you know if I make a couple of these and then I'm going to be using the kits from Andrea her I'm going to say spring blossom I've probably got it wrong I often do um, because I thought that was spring like with the pansies and things so that's got that pocket there and I've got a tag this is one from um, Rachel one of Rachel's tags and I've just backed this with some tea dyed tea dyed yes tea dyed card and then we'll try and, oops, a daisy, put, the... <laughs> sorry, folks, it's just spinning. It's just spinning round. How silly. It's because I'm on this glass, um, glass cutting mat. I do find the glass cutting mat blunts your blades a lot quicker than the self heal mat. Maybe that's common sense that that'll happen. 
And the reason I wanted to use that tag is the poppy there just went with the poppies on there and I thought that was really nice. So that's just on some tea dye paper. So that's that. I might put a topper on it. I don't know. I've got this, haven't I, left over that was from that. So that might go on there as a tag. I'll hang on to that. Um, and then paper wise, we can put some papers in. I've got some papers, but I don't know if they're going to fit. Um, and I don't know how many. I don't want to make it enormous. Now, these are all just all book pages that um, I've pulled out of books. Would that fit? That would fit. So roughly this size. Frog hop. Yep, that still fits. That's two. Let's try um, coffee dyed. Wait, it's not coffee dyed. That still fits. That's three. If I use that one, I just want to take a snip off of it because I don't want it sticking out past the covers. So I am going to just take a smidgen off of that one. What else have I got here? A little bit of um, music, music paper, what you call it, Pe music roll, piano roll even, piano roll paper. I've got a little bit of see-through paper. I've got another tea dye. How does that look in there? So how many is that we've got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So altogether that's 28 sides, isn't it? What else have I got here? One that says March. Shall we have that? Eight. Tales from Edgar Allan Poe. A little bit of that. Doesn't, I don't know why I'm faffing so much because it really doesn't matter, does it? they might look nice in there and as I say I don't want it to be great big and bulky I think that's just enough it's just a little notebook and how about we stitch them in right one moment sorry folks I thought I'd switched you back on again um so I'm just pushing these in down into the center um you could stitch these in with a sewing machine because you've not got many um papers so you could do that if you wanted to I'm not because when I do that, I always go wonky and it makes me cross. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. I am going to punch three holes. Sorry, you know when you just have a moment? No, it's the right way up. I'm going to punch three holes and do a three hole pamphlet stitch. So I'm going to say that's roughly the middle. That's one. Two, and three. Sorry, I'm trying to find a needle. Do you know, I've got a lovely darning needle somewhere. Can I find it? Can I, heckers like? Because it hasn't got a sharp end. I don't like using needles with sharp ends when I'm stitching in. And I'm thinking I'm going to do it. I will do it from the inside. I was wondering whether to do it from the outside and perhaps put a couple of buttons or something on. So in the middle, up the top, down the bottom and back through the middle. Let's just cut that. Uh, oh no, don't go. It's just falling on the floor. 
Pull it tight. I'm going to leave them long because I might want to thread a button or something on there or who knows. But that is my little booklet. Sorry, that is my little booklet even. So we've got given it a pocket on the front. I don't want to cover these up, but whoever ends up getting this could, you know, you could put another pocket here. I might do actually, you could put a corner pocket there. You could put a corner pocket here or a top one there. You know, you can decorate it up more, can't you? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine, 18, so 36 sides front and back. And I think that looks really nice. So I'm pleased with that. I am pleased with that. So that's that one done. And then this one, I don't know if I've got enough papers to do. I might have, but I might want to decorate the inside first because I went a bit wonky there, didn't I? So we might want to cover that up. But I don't know what papers I've got or what I've got or what I haven't got. I don't think we want birds. So this is just my odds and ends um, from Rachel. No, I don't think I want that. I would want something that's as tall, wouldn't I? So that's not going to be any good. Right, let me just see if I can find some papers to see if we can put a pocket at the back. One moment. OK, I found one of Rachel's papers um, and I think I'm going to use this just to make a pocket in, in the back. So that's about four. So I want it about two inches. So I want this to be about four inches. Um, I'll just take that off. And then if I fold it in half. be a nice little pocket on there and I think I want it how tall did we make this in the end folks so it's about six and a quarter inches so I'm going to cut it six and a quarter I'm going to go a bit less than six and a quarter those little bits sorry I'm putting my arms all in your way now do I want oh that's a pretty side isn't it so I could have it that side or I could have it that side what do we think I like that it's got 1932 just there so I think that's what I'm going to do and I've shoved myself into a little corner as I do tend to when I'm working I don't mean to, but it always happens. I find that I've only got, I mean, I've got a big work table here. I always seem to find that I've shoved myself into the corner. <laughs> Come on, Carol, we can do this. We can do this. So that will go there. I think I want it to fit inside the stitching because then it just glues. It fits in a little bit better. So I'm going to take that off and that's just going to be a pocket there sorry folks do I keep going off screen and I'm hesitating because I want to cut a divot in here but I know or I have a feeling that if I do it's going to go it's going to chew the paper up oh must be my lucky day. So I'm going to glue that in. How are we doing for time? I was hoping to get both of these finished. And then I've made a start on ephemera, haven't I?
Glue that in there. Okay. I don't think I want to put one at the front. I could. I don't know. Who knows? Do I want a label on there? I think I do. I do love Tracy's labels. They seem to fit no matter what you're doing. And for no reason other than I like it, that book's going on there. I don't know what it's doing in the label pot. But I liked it. It fell out. It got stuck to my finger. So to me, it's asking to be used. There he is. We've got the little bug on there as well. Can you see him? For no reason other than I liked him. So I'm going to take a little bit off the edge of this and then we'll try and get some papers together to go in here as well. I'm just taking the edge off. If I make sure this fits, yes it does. Right, so I don't want to be any bigger than that. One, two, I'm going to snip a little bit off that so it doesn't stick out. One, two, three. That needs a bit going as well, doesn't it? I don't think I've got as many book pages. Let me just see if I can find any more pages. Bear with me a moment. Okay, so I've, I think I've found some bits and pieces. How many did we have? One, two, three, four. That's a little one. Five. Six, seven, seven. What else have I got? Mm, I don't want to put another one of those in. I've got a little bit of Edith Holden. Um, one more, one bear with me, and then that one can make nine. Find where to put it. You can put it there. So it's just a good way to use up scraps of paper and things, and then that should fit in there. And if I'm quick, we can perhaps do this as well. Just stitch it in. So again, I've got it the right way up, haven't I? I am going to do three whole pamphlet stitch. I'm making three holes, just to, as they say, eyeball in them. My needle. Oh dear, thread it up. through the middle, up to the top, down to the bottom, back through the middle, one either side, snip them off, pull it tight, double knot, And say again I'm going to leave those on so there we go
I've made two. I haven't put anything on there. I might put a label up there and I may put a pocket. I'll have a look and see. Um, but I'm happy with those. I think they've worked out really, really well. And I think it's just a good way of using up those odds and ends of book pages that you've got. And I think if, you, if you're making one to go in a specific journal you can, that you're selling to somebody or that you're giving to somebody as a gift, you could add the papers into here that are left over from the project that you've done so that they can use them to further decorate the journal. So I hope you like them um, and I hope you stayed with me to the end and I will catch you all later. But take care, folks. Bye.